Hey guys, so we went ahead in the last video and made our SSH key that is here in C users home. So now we will add that key to our digital ocean client. All right, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna select the project and then settings and under settings there's security. And notice there's an add SSH key here. So I've got a few of them already set up. Um, one for my gaming laptop and another for a different user account. And so we're just gonna literally click this button and add the key. So it tells you over here how to generate one if you haven't already generated one, but we already did. So key content, key name, I'm just going to call this uh, TT, and that's it. I don't really have a specific name. Um, it'd be nice if we can upload it, but it looks like, yeah, I'm going to just go copy it. So, going to go here, see Windows, or excuse me. Windows C users, username, and here it is, the pub file. We're not gonna do this one. This one is your private file. You never, ever, 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 ever share it. Um, and that's it. Yeah, so we're gonna right click here. I'm gonna open it. Not gonna open it with Publisher. I'm just gonna use Notepad. That's all we really need. Do, 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 do. All right, so control A, control C. Um, the way these keys work for the most part is it is SSH, RSA, token, and then there's a comment line after this equal sign, which is usually the computer name. So I'm just gonna paste it in here and I'm gonna get rid of that space and add SSH key. And that's it. Now we are ready to start our deployment. So the reason we did that first, as opposed to doing it at a different time, was now when we spin up our droplet, that SSH key will be in there so we can use it to authenticate. And later we'll end up making a config file, which I kind of already have here for the most part. Um, we won't be able to complete it until we finish spinning up the VM, or virtual machine, excuse me. Uh, but the IP address will go right here and then we'll be able to just type in SSH space TT and it'll go right into that virtual machine. Um, as always, like, subscribe, so I know what kind of content you all like. And uh, I will see you all in the next video.